leave a comment below on your favorite fishing bait. Welcome to the tackle shop in my truck. I am going to be showing you guys all the tackle in the back of my truck today. This is a highly suggested video and I'm finally getting to it. I actually did one similar about two years ago. It's called My Trucks the Tackle Shop. You can go watch that one if you would like. But today we're going to be doing it again where it's actually updated. And also be sure to stay tuned towards the end of the video so I can show, I can pick the giveaway winners from the last $500 giveaway. Let's get this tackle shop tour started. So the one thing I actually keep my tackle and in the back of my truck is actually called a truck ball, guys. You're gonna be able to store everything. This is perfect for me, knowing that I'm a college fisherman, knowing that I'm traveling a lot. Now I travel all around the country. I mean, at least once a year, I'm taking a 20 hour trip to wherever it is, you know, Minnesota, Louisiana, you know, wherever it is, guys, I'm driving a lot. I'm putting a lot of miles on my truck. And I need to be prepared when I'm going to these fishing trips. So that's what I do. Well, that's why I use my truck ball. I actually keep a lot of fishing supplies and also safety equipment in here when I'm on the road. Let's go ahead and open the first side. And as you can tell, you have two sides of this truck ball. This first side isn't gonna be necessarily my tackle side, but this is where I wanna have a lot of tools, a lot of safety equipment in here. As you guys can tell, I actually have cleaning bottles where I can clean my truck, windows, everything on the go. I got some rags in here. Um, I got an extra bottle of cleaning equipment, jumper cape. I got toolbox, multi-tool box. I actually have a uh, jumper box. This is actually really cool. So guys, this box right here is actually very, very neat. You can simply plug it into the wall and charge it up. And I can take this wherever I go. Like I've seen a lot of people that need help on the side of the road or in a parking lot. And I've actually pulled this thing out without even having to hook the jumper cables up to my truck and actually jumpstart their car. Also way in the back, I actually have little flashers, reflector uh, triangles. Further into here, I actually have a little jack right here, which I've actually had to use a few times. When I'm on the road, you know, a lot of the times I'm gonna pop a tire or something's gonna happen. So that's exactly why I actually keep that in here. It holds up to 4,000 pounds. I can jack it right up, replace my tire, and it's perfect to go from there. So I also got some pair of locks. These are actually bolt locks. These are freaking sick, guys. The bolt locks, I'm not even affiliated with this company. I think they're honestly the one of the best inventions out there the bolt locks actually you stick your truck key inside of it you turn it one time and it actually memorizes your truck key so you don't have to have any other spare keys it's just the key that you know you use for your truck so you're obviously going to have that unlocks this thing it's just so freaking neat i also have a med kit right here some more tools inside of my truck also a spare computer charger because alex Perrick took mine a few years ago but he replaced it. And let's move on to the tackle side. Now moving on to the bait side, guys. This is where it's gonna get really interesting. Ugh, I know you guys are gonna love this. There's some weight in here. Freaking loaded, guys. Absolutely loaded. There's a lot of tackle in here. I'm gonna go through and explain why I have all this tackle and which tackle I have in here. This is absolutely perfect for when I'm going out of town. Like, if I need something, I always go resort to the back of my truck. You know, I'm gonna have it in here. And that's why I have to keep a variety of baits in here because when I'm traveling, you never know what lake you're gonna be coming to. I never know when I'm gonna have a surprise trip after, you know, I go fishing somewhere or if I'm at a tournament. Maybe something happens, everything changes. Maybe the water clarity is different. Whatever it is, I'm gonna have everything and I, I'm gonna have a variety of baits. So let's go ahead and see what I got. Let me show you guys pretty much, as you can tell, gosh, there's a lot of a variety of baits in here. As you guys can tell, absolutely stocked up, absolutely stacked. I'm gonna start off with this side and show you guys a little bit of what I have. I'll start off right here and then move on to this side. So right here, I actually have some Z baits and I actually have them in their own box because these baits right here actually have some strong scent guys. I like to keep them in an extra box just to keep them one separated from the other ones. And two, because they are pretty smelly, but that's a good thing because those fish will actually hold on to that bait. If you're looking back here, I actually have a bunch of hard baits, and in this one, I have a bunch of soft baits. These are just a, a big variety. You know, I have different ones in each each compartment. Like this, I'll have you know rattle traps, square bills, top waters, buzz baits, a little bit of everything, a big variety. So when I go to a lake, I'm not festering and you know I'm missing something. Back there, I'll also have some sweatshirts and I will keep a couple extra pairs of shoes. And then in the soft plastics, I'll have crawls, worms, curly tail worms, lizards, creature baits, anything of that sort. And right here, I actually have some old traps that I actually keep right here because those are so dang juicy. I got a square bill right there. 
another little crankbait. Um, I got some Seaguar line. As you can tell, I got some Invisix right there. And then I got some of their braid. And then I have 1,000 yard spool of 12 pound Seaguar right there, Invisix. Right here I actually have, here I can show you, a little pack of hooks. And I also have some fish heads underneath that as well, just because I have to stay stocked up on those. In this little box, I actually have some trocar drop shot hooks. I have about five or six packs in there that I always keep in here stocked up. Have some chatterbait skirts, because you never know when you're gonna have to change that. And then moving on to this side where I actually have a majority of my soft plastics, guys. I'm gonna have a big variety. I also have a couple couple crankbaits right here just laying on top, but I have a big variety right here. And let me explain why. So right here, as you can tell, there's a bunch of rage crawls. This is actually one of my favorite colors, which is a summer crawl color. And then moving on to the black and red, which is one of my other favorite colors, which I have a big pack of right here. Those two colors in the rage crawl, I actually use religiously, guys. I mean, I, I take them almost to every single lake I go, whether it's dirty water, clear water, I take both of those colors and I use those all the time. Another bait that I actually use all the time is um, Reaction Innovations Little Dippers. As you can tell right there, that is like, I've used them for years, guys. Like, I, I've, I, if you guys are wondering really why I have so many packs of them, it's because that's really how much I use them. I, no doubt in my mind, I, I go through, you know, 50 to 100 packs a year of those. And I, that is no exaggeration. Pair that thing on the back of a fish head spin. That's what I usually do. And I've done for years. Moving on right here, I actually have some assorted zoom baits you know i got some lizards brush hogs or oh, those are lizards right there eight inch lizard some more lizards right there lizards right there come on man lizards right there um uh, magnum trick worms what else we got more lizards golly i didn't even know more lizard i didn't even know i owned this many lizards guys some finesse worms some brush hogs and black and red which is one of my favorite colors some more magnum worms and then um, the old Ultra Vibe Speed Crawl. Oh my gosh, guys, this bait is the juice. And this is actually in June Bug. And then back there, I also have some more Sankos by Yum and some Bass Pro Shop Stickos and some Yamamoto baits. I got just a mixed variety back there. Hope you guys enjoyed this tackle shop in the back of my truck tour, guys. You guys have been asking for it for a while, like I said. Got all the tackle in the back of the truck. Be sure to smash that like button, guys. I got a cool collab video coming out Thursday that you guys are gonna absolutely love. So stay tuned for that. Be sure to click the post notification bell next to the subscribe button. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment below on your favorite fishing bait. Favorite fishing bait of all time, guys. I wanna know what's your favorite of all time. And leave that comment below. Also, we're gonna be going to my house right now for the giveaway winner. So guys, it is time for the giveaway winner. We have to pick this thing. It's been quite some time. I've told you guys I'm gonna do it. Finally getting to it. I'm actually in Savannah now. So we're picking a winner at the end of this video right here. So let me show you guys how this works. All right guys, so I have this website. It's actually called YouTube Random Comment Picker, as you guys can tell right there. So if, if you guys know, here, let me go back to the video. So guys, here's the video right now where I actually did the giveaway on. As you can t tell, 1,100 comments right there. It's got 1.3 thousand likes. You had to follow all the steps, which was to subscribe to my channel, turn on the bell, hit the like button, and comment below. So what this comment generator is gonna do is it's gonna go through all these comments and actually pick one random winner out of all these. So that is what it's gonna do. And I'm actually gonna go double check to make sure the winner actually followed all the steps to actually win this. Pretty much gonna copy this URL, go back to the random comment generator, paste it right there. I'm going to hit search. As you can tell, it's loading up all the comments right there. As you can tell that number's flying up, look at that. Boom. 1,106 unique comments. What that means is pretty much it's not gonna put duplicated comments. So if someone commented twice, it's not gonna count it. That's why it said like 1,140 in the video, but unique people, individuals, 1,106. So right here, we're about to start it. Let's get, I'm picking two winners. It's a $500 giveaway for all these lures. Picking two people, which are gonna be split even. So two winners for this, but here goes the first winner. John Paul three, All right there, John Paul three. What I want you to do, John Paul three, is actually DM me on Instagram, at Noah Pescatelli. I'll leave it, I'll pop it up on the screen, at Noah Pescatelli, DM me that you own this account, show me the proof that you own this account, and I'll ship the baits out to you and get everything. Big congrats to you, man. But let's go ahead and pick one more winner. Here we go, guys, one more. Ooh, 
let's see. Solo Q Banter? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're the winner, man. So, guys, this is what I want you guys to do. You two, DM me on Instagram at Noah Pescatelli. Don't even try to trick me, guys. If you guys didn't win the giveaway, don't go DM me saying you won the giveaway. I want these two guys to DM me. Show me the proof that you own the account. Show you that you're logged in. Show the proof. Show that you commented it. Show you that you can edit the comment. Whatever it takes to prove that you own that account. DM me. I'll get your address. I'll get all your information. I will get the tackle shipped out to you. I'll also throw, I'll throw a shirt or a hat in there as well. Some of the merch. And uh, we'll get you guys on your day. But thank you guys so much for watching this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to smash that like button. Stay tuned for Sunday's video where I'm actually going to have a cool video with uh, with Fishing with Norm and also some other cool kids in the video that actually have a YouTube channel as well. Be sure to stay tuned for that one. Subscribe, hit the little bell so it sends you post notifications, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.